I'm Martin Granger and I'm the second horn or sub principal horn in the London Mozart players. Welcome back to LMP at Home. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about playing the second horn in a chamber orchestra and then continue with our series Solo Sundays where I play some excerpts from the horn repertoire and you get to identify what pieces that they're from for the chance to win tickets to our concerts once we're back in the concert halls. Now I feel I need to apologise at this point, um, most of the people in their videos seem to have been able to find a nice fireplace to film in front of, uh, unfortunately the best I could do was some shelves and a door, so I do apologise for that. Might not think the position of the second horn is the most glamorous in the orchestra, but it's often very important, uh, underpinning the bass in the wind section, adding important harmonies, sometimes we even have the tune. It's a very different job from the first horn, um, particularly in our core uh, classical repertoire. The first horn is required to be the brave and fearless leader uh, with the job of leading the section in style and interpretation, um, playing all the big tunes and of course needing an absolutely uh, stupendous high register. Uh, the second horn needs to be able to follow the first horn in everything they do, blending their sounds, matching their intonation, articulation and style, um, all in order to produce a really cohesive sound. They also need to have the flexibility not only to play comfortably uh, in the low register but often to, uh, to be able to play as high as a first horn as well. Probably the best example um, of this is the last movement of Mozart's 29th Symphony. <laughs> As I previously mentioned, we do get solos as well, uh, sometimes because it's low in the in the register, uh, sometimes because we're in unison with the first horn, sometimes uh, because the solo covers uh, a large range, uh, and that would have been the, uh, the second horn's um, specialism, sometimes because composers wrote for um, two natural horns in different keys, so effectively you end up with two first horns um, in a piece. Uh, uh, the forces called for in a chamber orchestra are relatively small. Um, it's quite common to find just two oboes, two horns and the string section. Uh, we often play without a conductor, um, so this gives it a real feeling of, uh, of chamber music. Everyone's listening to each other, adapting their playing, adapting what they do all the time, and it's, it's a real close-knit feel, which is one of the things I love about playing in a chamber orchestra. Anyway, on with the competition. I've tried to choose uh, things that aren't too obscure, but equally I hope I've not made it too easy. Um, please bear in mind there's no clever editing here, just uh, me and a microphone, uh, and I promise I haven't recorded each one 15 times until I got it right. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget to submit your answers on the LMP website. Um, please share the link and, uh, and please also donate if you feel able. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, a fairly easy one, I think. Um, this is a piece that we've, uh, we've played recently. It's very standard repertoire for, for us and this is a very typical uh, second horn part. So here we go. <gasps> So the next extract I'm going to play um, is not something we play often at all, um, but it's very definitely in the uh, chamber orchestra repertoire. Uh, it's notable because um, the second horn part uh, is right up there with the, um, the first uh, first horn part in this uh, particular um, moment. Um, it's not that obscure. If you know it, you'll know it. <laughs> This next one is not from our standard repertoire, um, but if you're a regular concert goer, you will have heard this, I am sure. Um, it's very short, blink and you'll miss it. Catch you a lot. Okay, uh, so the next one is uh, very well known uh, amongst second horn players. This is. Uh, core repertoire for us. Um, if you're a regular concert goer, I guarantee you would have heard this. And I'll give you an extra bonus. 
bonus clue. It's not Jaws. Something a little bit different now. Um, it's in the Chamber Orchestra repertoire. Um, not played terribly often, um, but uh, again, if you're a regular concert goer, you will probably have heard it, and it's certainly very recognisable. <laughs> say much about this final uh, extract uh, I'm going to play for you today. It's um, just bread and butter, second horn, repertoire. <laughs> rounded off his video last week by challenging us to identify a theme from just one single solitary note. Now I'm not sure I can quite match that but I thought it might be rather fun uh, staying in a world of film and TV. Um, if I were to play the first three notes of a famous theme and see if you could identify the fourth. <laughs> just have sung that fourth note. And that was, of course, the introduction to John Williams' uh, famous Jurassic Park theme. Anyway, that pretty much concludes the, uh, the video for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've had a lot of fun making it. Um, please do remember to get onto the LMP website, put your answers in for a chance of winning those concert tickets. Um, and I think um, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for joining me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you at one of our concerts very soon. Bye. <laughs>